Well, in just weeks, NFL teams could start reporting for training camp. It's a race against time, though, to get to the proper protocols in place so players and coaches will be safe. Yeah, so many people are hoping to have a season, but the NFL Players Association just had a call about their safety plans. Our Matt Harris joins us live right now. And Matt, there are still a lot of decisions that need to be made. Yeah, that's right. We're 22 days out from the start of NFL training camp, the scheduled start of NFL training camp, but there's still a lot to be finalized. The NFL and the NFL Players Association are still finalizing their testing protocols. On Friday, the NFL sent teams more than 40 pages of information for the upcoming season. It ranged from guidelines for travel to contact tracing. Included in that is how to handle individuals exposed to someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. The timelines for possible return are different if a player tests positive and is showing symptoms versus a player who's asymptomatic. All 32 NFL head coaches were on that conference call going over protocols and updates for the coming season. We'll have that information for you as it becomes available. For now, back to you. All right, Matt. A lot of people looking forward to football season, but of course still a lot to be ironed out there. Our Matt Harris reporting live for us tonight. Matt, thank you. The Green Bay Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy said time is no longer on the league side. In a monthly column, he wrote teams will use guidance from today's meeting to make decisions. He said the economic and local impact have to be taken into consideration also when making those decisions. But of course, health and safety, the most important.